Hey, my name is Tim Rea here live at the Bell Harbor Conference Center. We are at the Seattle AI Investor Showcase, and I got Sam Strickling with, uh, you're the Director of Innovation, Studio Fortive, and you were on a really cool panel today. Yeah, Tim, it was a lot of fun. We got to talk about what we're doing at Fortive with Pioneer Square Labs and how we're building a, uh, an incubator, an accelerator, for the next companies we should either build, buy, or invest in. And we were just catching up because I haven't seen you since, in, since CES in Vegas when you were with Nike doing Fuel Band. That's right. That's, That's cool. Right. Small world. So what? So what is? It really is. It's interesting. You're like, what? I think I recognize that guy. So what is Fordham? Fordham is an industrial holdings company. Yeah. It owns 18 other brands. Like yeah. Tektronics and Fluke, and yeah. it's the parent company for all those. Cool. And then uh, we had Jeff Ventress, he's an old friend, and Jeff's got Pioneer Square Labs, which is their own internal incubator, but then they're doing something very unique as partnering with a holding company. And, and what does that all mean now? Yeah, so Pioneer Square Labs gives us the opportunity to either create the next company that should be in the Florida portfolio or to take things to the real world by using the best of PSL and the best of Florida. And so have you, how long has this program been going on? Five years. Oh, it's so okay. It's cool. Yeah, it's changed a little bit over the time. COVID yeah. certainly affected some of the things. But yeah, to date, we've had six companies leave the entire nest and many more come back. So you're looking for companies now that work in, I heard on stage it was like metrology, construction, and hard technology problems. Exactly. We think AI is going to disrupt a lot of these businesses that we already play in. Yeah. Uh, and we're excited to create that disruption ourselves. Okay. So we're finding some unique opportunities in metrology and construction, as you mentioned, but also just life sciences and medical. Yeah. Because your corporate umbrella is, is exp it's global, right? It's like... How many billion dollars it is? Yeah, we're a $26 billion yeah. uh, book value. We do about six to eight million billion in revenue. And what's very interesting is like Fluke, which is a Seattle based company, has some of the best or the best metrology in the world. And you you basically do what then with Fordive in this program? What's yeah. Your job? So for Fluke, for instance, they are really good at building hardware. But they haven't spent too much time dabbling in what software or AI could do for them. So, for instance, an idea that we just evaluated in the studio is, what if you could have an AI read analog gauges? Could you speed up metrology in general? Oh, interesting. Could you use that in commercial or industrial processing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can. Yeah. You don't even need a sensor in the device. You just use computer vision. So if I don't need Fluke, how could, how could Fluke give us better access? Or how could Fluke be a different brand based on AI? Give me an example of a company you've worked with that was a cool success story that you kind of run through the, through the program. Yeah. So. Some of my favorites are TeamSense. Yeah. TeamSense started right after COVID for yeah. frontline workers. It allows for frontline workers to interact with managers and get schedules and trade shifts and tell people if they're sick. Kind of moving for the analog fax and paper. We joked about that, the built environment. Exactly, yeah. Faxing everything. No longer you have to you know, send a text to your buddy and say, I'm out. It's, we've taken a lot of that digitally. It does a lot of auto scheduling. And that team launched in six weeks. That was only wow. in the incubator for six weeks before it got a, its first funding and left the company. Interesting. How did you guys make this relationship? Like who, in, who found who and how did that go down? Well, so with DBS or Danaher Business Systems, we'd known about... PSL on this idea for a while. Um, Jim Lico, our CEO, and Kirsten Paus, our SVP of growth, know TA and Jeff for a number of yeah. years. And, TA McCann. Yeah, TA McCann. And they've been, I mean, they're only about a 20 mile drive up the road from us. So serendipity and a bit of a bit cool. of goodwill. And where are you based out of? So I was in Portland the last eight years working at Tektronics ah. and other companies, but I now live in Houston, Texas. Okay, cool. And you're up here for the event? Up here for the event. I'll spend some of my time at PSL. I'll drive to Everett and fly cool. back tomorrow. Okay, now for the entrepreneurs out there, this is going to go out to LinkedIn, and this is your way to connect up. What would you suggest to them to connect up with your program, and what's that process? Yeah, so we're always looking for venture leads, people who want to take that zero to one step, whether they stay with the company as it launches or if it comes back, uh, or they just really like to do this kind of blend of corporate and uh, an AI, yeah, yeah. Feel free like to a reach bigger out. Bigger stick, a bigger, yeah, <laughs> bigger stick. Maybe an unfair advantage or two. Yeah, which is great. That's cool. All right. So, how do people link up with you in uh, the organization, Sam? Easiest way is to find me on LinkedIn. Uh, it's just Sam Strickling on LinkedIn, or, or send me an email at sam.strickling at Fortive. 
Cool. And so I was speaking with some students earlier, and this is for the students. Um, give me some pro tips from your experience from going from college and how you got your foot in the door. Yeah, my favorite things about, especially being young, uh, is you have very little obligations. <laughs> so yeah, your, yeah. Your, your daily burn rate is ramen noodles and other stuff. So it's a great time to take that, that risk or that chance. Yeah. I would say stay passionately curious. Uh, curiosity gets you a lot of ways. Uh, and one advice, products don't always sell themselves. Yeah. Know who your buyer is before you start building the final thing you want to sell. Cool.